Well, I am excited, and this is going to be the part two of two, and directly behind me, the Wee Slaughter Barbecue was used in a little movie called Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or in Bar Shop, Texas, and I am excited. So we're going to go check this place out inside, go get some food. So let's check it out, because I am beside myself. So Bilbo's home decor and junk, as you can see. Got the van in the back there. The pungent smell of garbage that just punched me in the face. And up there, the Wee Slaughter Barbecue. Damn, this is cool. Got here just in time. They're open till seven. So I went to the back first just to check it out and they have this little stage. But if you do want to come out here, they have these little cottages you can rent as well, which is kind of neat. And right here is their big smoker. And here's a food truck. Let's, that's Texas, everything on sticks. I think that might just be an old one, but oh, okay. Let's look at this. This smells amazing. Leatherface, are you in there? Oh yeah, you can see right here. Just doing some, some smoking right now. Give me some brisket. That's gonna happen. Got a creepy spider up there and a mobile smoker. Got the classic truck right here, all roached out. Almost a Jeepers Creepers could take this thing on. Look at that, that thing's just really rotted out to no end. I can't believe I'm here, I am so stoked. This was kind of a far drive from the last place we went to, but um, well, well worth it so far. Had to come over here to the barbecue sign and had to show you this. The gas station cabins barbecue horror open 10 to seven, closed Monday, three to two, Perfect. Damn, that's cool. So I just saw this. This is the bench outside. And then I didn't even know while reading this. In memory of those who went before us, Roy Rose and Eric Burris, the Saw's family. So this is pretty cool. You got Gunnar Hansen, Leatherface, Joe Saito, Cook, Robert Corton, the window washer, Bob Burns, Todd Hooper, director, Marilyn Burns as Sally. All pertain. And then on this bench, look at that. Leather face mask, hammer, done up with chainsaws. And if you want to grab onto the old chainsaw too, there it is. But yeah, the Saw family bench. So plenty of goodies here. So they do have a mask and stuff inside here, which is really cool. We're going to get some barbecue, but look at that. The Jeepers Creepers mask. Plenty of monster stuff. There's a full-size Pennywise, well, full-size Delvira, look at that, behind the mask. Plus they sell, I was looking over on the other side, oh, the Wolfman, the Turtles, Jaguar, oh, Justin Scarred would go nuts. Dreadmon, trying to show as much as I can. The good guys, Chucky, the Bride of Chucky, Jennifer Tilly, that talks. I'm gonna have to get a couple things. Aw, oh, Chia Pets are here. The Hellfire Chia Pets, funny. Oh, Freddy. Something's up with his eyes. This guy's for sale if you want. I'm about six foot one, so. Look at that. He's a bit higher. And then you got the Scream. And then you got Bride of Chucky. That's cool. So here's the menu real quick. I thought I'd show you. Wait till you see what we got or what we're getting. We're gonna get quite a few things. Aw, look at that, Marty Feldman. Uh -huh. <laughs> so many cool things and oh, the Japanese shirt. Oh, I was out there with Cal Fire. The Navy sent me out there DVDs here. And, uh, I'm gonna grab a shirt and then plenty of sodas. The old pumps. Of course, I'm grabbing a root beer. Dave Grohl. 
So that was really cool inside there. The guys are awesome, just awesome guys that work there. Talk about everything. Um, so the exterior, exterior and the interior was here in 1974, where it was shot. Rob Zombie's never filmed here. He might have been here, but he hasn't filmed here. But yeah, around back and inside the opening credits. But I'll, let me show you what I got real quick. I did go ahead and get an IBC root beer because I've been on that kick. And we had to get a couple stickers. The stickers are certified chainsaw operator. All right. Don't blow away. And bag. This guy really knows how to fold a shirt. And here we are. This is what I had to purchase from the gas station. That is cool. And then if you look right here, look who's in the bushes. Hiding in the bushes. Bushes. That would be right over there. Next, I'll show you the food we got. So this is what we got. We got the brisket, we got the jalapeno sausage, a little toast, potato salad, and those are the jalapeno bacon stuffed brisket poppers. All right, we're gonna give these a try. And I don't know if I saved this for last, but, oh yeah, they have cornhole back here if you're staying. And they were saying that they put movies on in the back, but the van, the broke down van, you hear those things? Ah, those are those little, grasshoppers I don't know if this was screen used I'll have to ask but this is cool a really cool photo up and if you stay in there just FYI no bathrooms you have to use like a this is the bathroom right here but look at that the tailpipe they have no idea what's in store Arendelle Arlington is where this thing came from the van and just a little overview this is pretty neat i gotta say the people here are very very nice so if you do come out here stop on by the gift store gift shop store yes so as the sun begins to fall out here in texas we can see the barbecue over there they're just about to close up they don't have many people here but I want to show you guys this too. If you want to take a fun picture, look at this. They have the hook, they have the bloody wall there, and the bucket of guts. So, look at that. Oh, the hook has been broken before, it looks like. Let me see if I can fix that. I think I'd have to take the whole. Okay, I'll take it down, and then maybe I can fix it. Maybe I can take a fun pic there. But yeah, there's the bloody wall right there. So neat. I'm having way too much fun, hook in hand. So from the Wee Slaughter Barbecue, right behind us, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's watched my videos. As always, please consider subscribing. This is really cool. The people here are very, very nice, very hospitable. It's about 30 miles from Austin. Worth the drive if you're into this sort of thing, or even just into some good barbecue. But. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all for watching. It looks like Leatherface himself made that barbecue sign. And don't come on Monday. They are closed on Monday. See you next time.